The next important discovery in electricity was a bit more down to earth. In fact, right out of a swamp. It involved frogs. Franklin's theory of one kind of electricity we know now was more or less correct. It certainly was a lot closer to the truth than some of the other theories in the 18th century. But that didn't stop people in the 18th century believing in all sorts of other theories. And perhaps that was a good thing. Otherwise, maybe, nobody would have listened to an Italian doctor who used to, well, experiment on frogs. His name? Luigi Galvani. This is what Luigi Galvani was experimenting with around 1790. He wanted to find out how frogs' nerves worked. You take a piece of wire like this, and you poke it well down inside the frog's spinal cord. Then he connected up to an electrical machine, and when he turned the handle, the frog would kick. But imagine his surprise when one day he just accidentally touched the wire to the tray. What was this? A dead frog moving all by itself. That couldn't be. There must be electricity coming from somewhere. It had to be coming from inside the frog itself. And so Galvani triumphantly announced frog power. Well, not exactly frog power. He called it animal electricity. And there are enough arguments around in those days for people to listen. One of those who listened was Count Alexandro Volta, who tried this and said, no, 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 no. It's not the frog that's doing it. It's the two metals. In this case, brass and an iron tray. When they come together, the electricity is produced. Well, after a lot of experiments, Volta came up with this. Now, he called it his pile. And it was just a pile of different kinds of metals, in this case, copper and zinc, around layers of dead frogs. <laughs> no, not dead frogs pieces of felt soaked in salty water. So what did Volta's pile do? Let's see if we can make it work. What I have over here is a transistor radio and two wires connected into the power compartment of the radio. Let's turn it on. Nothing happens yet. And connect it up to the pile. One, two. There. Volta had invented the battery. And it all came out because of Galvani's frog. And you know, Galvani was right too. There is such a thing as animal electricity. Electricity of nerves and muscles. And of course, Volta was right as well, else how would the battery have been invented? But one thing I think that nobody realised at that time was just how important the battery would turn out to be. <laughs> 